Hey what's going on guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be sort of talking about the new FIFA 17 um, trailer because as you know it came out the other day and uh, I'm basically just going to be piecing together sort of the new features which FIFA 17 will have. Um, I've got a list up here online which is basically just saying you know um, the, the different features which is just going to change FIFA I guess. Um, there are actually quite a lot this year, you know. It does seem like they're going to make it a lot different to anything that it's ever been, I think. Um, in terms of sort of game modes and stuff, as you probably already know if you've seen the new trailer, um, there's this new game mode called The Journey. Uh, it's a bit like a sort of campaign... Well, I've been playing too much Call of Duty, actually. I can't call it a campaign. I'd say more of like a story mode um, about this young footballer. I think he's called like Alex Hunter. And uh, it's basically, from what from what I can see, it's basically like just about his, you know, going from the bottom and just working your way up to the Premier League, I think. Um, that's the main sort of storyline, you know, going through the highs and lows of trying to get to the Premier League and stuff. Um, you know, I think it'll be very similar to sort of the career mode, um, be a pro career, I think. I can't remember what that's called. I would never really play it. Um, and FIFA 16, in the fact that, you know, you start at the bottom for like a not very good team and then you sort of just play better, you get a better rating during the game and um, you know you'll get opportunities to go to better teams I think. Um, as it says here you know you'll have a rating during games, hopefully it's not like pro clubs you know when when I find that you know I'm, I'm the engine of the team, you know I drive the team forward all game and then somehow you come away with like a rating of 6.2 or something um, so hopefully it's a bit it's a bit nicer than, than the rating on that. But um, yeah, it seems like a, there'll be a lot more stuff outside of the pitch, though. Uh, you know, there's going to be a lot. You, you're going to see like the interiors of houses, um, you know, training grounds, everything like that. Um, I'm not too sure how far they'll go in terms of like how much you'll be able to control. Um, I'd imagine they'll probably have stuff like skill games outside of um, outside of the pitch. You know, where you can practice you know make your player better in certain certain characteristics you know make them quicker by doing certain skill skill games um, but I'm not too sure how how far they'll actually go in terms of that but yeah really exciting uh, feature we'll have to see how that how that pans out when it comes out uh, another feature that is going to be probably quite noticeable is this new engine they're using I think it's the frostbite engine um, I'm not too sure the one they're using at the moment but yeah that they've changed to this sort of new new engine and they claim that um, it'll introduce three times as many new animations as they have on the average new FIFA. So that basically just means you know there'll be different types of there'll be more sort of slide tackles, more shooting techniques, um, basically you name it, you know free kick techniques, uh, which I'll move on to in a second. Um, but yeah, you know it'll just make the game feel more sort of there, there'll be lots of different options. I think it'll make the game feel. Um, it'll make it also make it you know more realistic, obviously, because um, obviously this new engine that means better lighting, uh, you know, better graphics, all that sort of stuff. Just all the changes, you know, that will make the game feel like you're playing a real football match, basically, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, another noticeable change is this set piece rewrite. Um, it says on here, basically, you can move players now around the ball to position themselves. It says. Uh, to kick with the outside of their boot, for example, uh, this is handled. This is handled with the right analog stick. So uh, you know you can sort of change the way you take free kicks if you want to. You know, do that David Luiz dipping free kick. I think um, you could do that, or you know, if you want an outside of the foot free kick or something, which is pretty cool. You know, I'll probably mean there's different uh, types of free kicks you can do. Like, you know, obviously as I said, the dipping ones, um, all that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and obviously the same thing for penalties as well, it says on here. Players can also position themselves around the ball for penalties, so there'll be lots of different uh, penalty techniques, you know, which is, yeah, pretty cool again. Lots of different ways you can uh, you can take you can take set pieces, basically, I think is what it's getting at. Uh, on corners and some long-range free kicks, there's now a targeting reticule in the box, determining roughly where the player is attempting to put the ball, uh, which is pretty useful, you know. So you can sort of get an idea of where you are putting the ball when you're taking set pieces. Um, I don't know if that would be a bit overpowered for free kicks, uh, but we'll have to see how that pans out. Another change they made is this physical play overhaul. Um, they, they describe it as pushback technology, which is a new real-time physics system that means players keep balance better 
when pushed and shoved. Um, this new system pulls together and builds on previous protect, protect the ball jostling and shielding mechanics. Um, so it appears like you know you're gonna there's gonna be better ways of sort of protecting the ball, holding off the ball. And it looks like on here um, this is good for players that hold up play from goal kicks like Olivier Giroud or Diego Costa. So you know it, it seems like they're incorporating more. Um, they're making the game more suited to uh, players, you know, that are, that are big, maybe not the fastest of players, but that can hold up the ball. Um, I'd imagine they'd still incorporate the pace factor into it as well, but you know, in FIFA 16 and, and previous FIFAs, you've often, you've often found that if there's a player without any pace, uh, like Giroud, you basically no one will ever use him just because, you know, he's just pointless. You, you'll try and put him through on goal or something and he just won't get to it, you know, the defenders will always catch him up or something. So it seems like they've tried to sort of improve the, these, these sort of defending, um, these physical these physical stats for these types of players just so that, you know, that they're, they're better in game basically, so that more people want to use them. Um, collisions with keepers have now been improved. Uh, they can drop the ball now, though this is a rarity. I can imagine this being quite annoying, you know, keeper dropping the ball. 90th minute match in Ultimate Team, you know, you have to win the match to win the division. And, uh, you know, your goalkeeper goes and just drops the ball into the path of an opponent who gets the who gets the equaliser or something. Oh, I could see controls getting broken because of this. Um, but at least that means, you know, collisions with players, you, you don't get things like this. Um, so you're not going to have players, you know, sort of just missing from the field because they've been sort of just gone flying out of the way or something. Um, another change is this active AI uh, system. They describe it as constant spatial an analysis, I think. I can't even read at the moment. Um, but basically, I think it just means that AI teammates will just basically make more runs and better runs. Um, they'll just basically be more intelligent so that there'll be players moving off the ball to make spaces for other ones, uh, which is pretty cool. You know, just like real football, basically. Um, AI players will run into good positions, even if it breaks the formation. Um, you know, just making just, just making it more realistic, you know, instead of just really static when you're going forward, like it has been on some other FIFAs, when, you know, you go forward and there's only sort of three players, and you, your only option is to either pass to them or put a three ball to them. At least there'll now be players, you know, sort of interchanging positions, um, moving around to confuse defenders and just, you know, just making it a bit more exciting going forward, I think, instead of just always having the, the same sort of options. Um, yeah, as it says here, AI players hold runs and make fake runs to create space and opportunities, which is pretty cool. And the final noticeable change is this attacking techniques thing. So goalkeepers can now throw and kick the ball with purpose. Um, I don't really know what that means, um, but yeah, I don't know. Take what, take from that what you want, basically. Um, the same technique also applies to shooting, so to create a low-driven shot and to attacking headers, which aims the ball down into the ground, which is pretty cool. I haven't actually seen any headers this year, which um, in FIFA 16, where you sort of head the ball into the ground and stuff like that, they've always just been normal headers on target. So I think there'll be different sort of techniques of head of, with headers as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and also, players can flick the ball with the right stick to themselves. I have no idea what that means. Um, again, take from that what you want. But yeah, as you can see, lots of different um, this, lots of different changes actually this year. It looks like they're they're trying to make it a lot more realistic the game, um, which is pretty cool. You know, they'll they'll add lots more features I think to it. Uh, lots of different techniques for things just to make it feel like you're playing an actual real game uh, I think which obviously is, is good that's why you play FIFA because you want to reenact a, a real match but yeah that's today's video guys uh, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new around here and I will see you in the next video